Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, apparently the prosecution is also ready. Who is the judge here anyway? Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Uh, very well, no opening statement, so... Not so fast, judge! I was thinking, I, I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. R right, of course. A prediction. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Order, order! Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Bah, must you question everything? It will be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I call my witness now. R right. I call my witness, my decisive witness, to the stand. It's the mysterious boat shop owner. Witness, state your profession. Uh. I uh, am the proprietor of the restaurant The Wet Noodle at Gord Lake. And I uh, also rent boats. The night of the incident, you were in the boat rental shop, correct? Uh, yep, yep I was. Please, testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard who this old guy is. Yeah, I would very much like to know that. Objection. Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Objection. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Bah! I predict this trial will end in three minutes. Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. Yeah, right. The witness will state his name. Uh, well, uh, I'm not really sure. Yep. What do you mean? My, uh, memory. Your honor. The witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. Huh. He can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. Very well. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we? Witness? Okay. I'm willing to bet Von Karma is going to t literally raise an objection to everything I try to do. So I need to make absolutely sure what needs to be pressed on. It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight. Yep. I was in the restaurant where I, uh, rent boats, as usual. Then I heard a bang. Yep. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Then I heard another bang. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore, and a man walks by my window. Hmm, very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. There is nothing to question in my witness's testimony. Ergo, no need for cross-examination. Besides, there are only ten seconds left before our three minutes are up. Judge, your verdict, now! Uh, yes. M Mr. Wright? Yes, cross-examine. What are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine the witness. Hmm. Very well, you may begin. 
<laughs> Excuse me? Mr. Von Carbo? Three minutes just passed! I see. Well then, let's just take our time. You may cross-examine the witness. <laughs> Love just how pissed he is. Okay, now you're 24th. Um... Let me see what all I have, just to kind of refresh myself. Okay, we still have Lotus Camera, which I don't think is really going to help us here. Sometime on the 24th or 20th, 25th, shot from about a meter away. We have the photo here taken at 12.15, which doesn't really show anything. Uh, let's see. Uh, second lake photo, which is an empty lake on the 24th. Misty Fay, but that involves DL6 and we haven't gotten there yet. Gordy, which I don't think is going to be helpful anymore. Overhead map of the lake. Also doesn't really have anything. Uh, the bullet found in the victim's body. Pistol, which is 22 caliber. Fired three times. And yeah, got that there. Lada's de deposition. I heard two sounds like gunshots just after midnight. Which, you know, makes sense. Uh, metal detector. Uh, Polly the parrot. The DL6 incident case here. Okay, so what exactly was in this case file? Let's see. Date 12, 28, 2001. Elevator. Air in the elevator was auctioned, depleted at the time of the incident. Victim data. Gregory Edgeworth, defense attorney, trapped with, from a lost trial with his son. One belt. One bullet found the heart, murder weapon was fired twice. Yanni Yogi, court bailiff, trapped in elevator with the Edgeworths, memory loss due to auction deprivation after his recess. Fiance Polly Jenkins committed suicide? I don't recall Maya saying anything about that. That's... Okay, that is... Kind of morbid. But doesn't actually go with anything. This is all DL6 stuff, which, you know, is... Mm, I think the only thing we really need would be, like, his name, but I guess we can just press. We did get in trouble one time, but unless we get that again? Because there was nothing here. It was in the restaurant where we read boats, heard a bang, looked at us, saw a boat flowing on the lake, and I heard another bang. Just then the boat came back to shore. No specific time frame, but it does still match what we've gotten, so... I guess we can just try pressing. Just after midnight, you say? Yep. Just around then. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Yep. When I talked to you yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. I asked him and he remembered. Isn't that right? Uh, don't glare at me like that. I, uh, I remembered it clearly, I did. Yep. You see? Continue. Okay, I was in the restaurant where I rent boats. Is there anyone who can verify that? Well, I guess Polly could. That's not good enough for a court of law. Mr. Wright, exactly what's not good enough? Uh, your honor, this Polly is a parrot. A parrot? Don't be so hard on the girl, Keithy boy. Keith? The prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Witness, please continue. Okay, then, okay, I mean, that's interesting, he does say Polly can do it, like, vouch for him, but I'm not entirely sure that's where we should present any evidence. And where did the bang seem to come from? Uh, from the lake, I figure. Are you certain? Uh, yep. Good. Continue. 
Okay, when I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating at the lake. Was there someone in the boat? It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see clearly. But I figured there were two men out there. Yep. But you couldn't see them clearly. Yep. At the time, that is. At the time? What do you mean, at the time? Well, whatever. I heard another bang. So you heard two gunshots total? Yep. That's what Lana said in her testimony yesterday. Okay, so nothing there. Just then the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. This is the last thing. By your window? Yep, by my window. Right outside the window of my little shack. And could you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. This is rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. I have a bad feeling about this. That man was the defendant. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. Okay, let's press him on that. Are you sure? Uh oh. D Dad! Dead certain, Keith! He said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by, too! Witness! Are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him! That Edgeworth boy! This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. Von Karma! He lured me into cross-examining so he could set me up for a fall. N Nick! I don't like the way things are going here! Everyone in the courtroom's glaring at us! Better act quick or this trial's gonna be over. Oh, well, yes, absolutely raise an objection. objection. Your Honor! We proved in yesterday's trial that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun! Mr. Wright! Are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun? And the photograph showing the man firing with his left hand? Exactly. That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. You are ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. Hmm. Judge is lost in thought. What should I do? Well, if he had the time to wipe off with one hand, why wouldn't he not wipe his, like, the entire gun so that no fingerprints were on there? Objection. Your Honor! This witness claims that Edgeworth said, I can't believe he's dead. But his word is all we have! If you were telling a lie... Mr. Wright! In a court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently, you have yet to realize even this basic fact. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Uh... Nick, do we have evidence? It's no good. There's nothing I can do! Uh, are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please? Can you hear me, sis? Please? We need your help! Nick needs you! Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. However, 15 minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. Enough! The witness may leave the stand. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. 
nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. What? No! Huh. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Guilty. The accused will surrender to the court immediately to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Did I seriously just lose? W wait! Who was that just now? Me! Huh? What? Larry? I was half expecting the bird to show up for some reason, but okay. What are you doing here? Listen, y you gotta listen to me. I, I was, I was there in the park the night of the murder. I, I wasn't sure about it just yesterday, but today I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot. I heard it too. Order. What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided. I call for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did. A gunshot that night. I was sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. Then I realized something you said was different from what I remember. Uh, anyhow, I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It's, it's just not right. I'll testify! Let me testify! Order! Order! Oh, well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Judge! You've already given your decision! The trial is over! Nick! This is it! Larry's given us one final chance at this! She's right. Only it wasn't Larry. He could make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. It doesn't get any worse. You're right. Okay. Your Honor, if there's another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. A waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. Hmm. Allow me to speak my opinion. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What is this? I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. Mr. Von Karma, I order you to call this new witness to testify. Now! What?! The court will adjourn for a five minute recess. After that, we will hear this new witness. Court is adjourned. Wow, that took less than half an hour, jeez. <sighs> That was too close! Oh, sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that, Edgeworth. Ha! <laughs> I've seen worse. Yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets! I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Larry was at the lake that night? Yes. He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that fell into the lake. Oh, right. And he found the balloon and the air tank that night. Yeah. Hey, Edgeworth. Huh? You say something right. Yeah, a lot of things. You seem out of it. What's wrong? It... It's nothing. Hmm? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? 
Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Ow. When he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor of the boat in front of me. I picked it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. I see. Right. Yeah? This might be our chance. Our chance? Von Karma has only ever run perfect trials. Perfect trials? Perfectly prepared witnesses. Perfectly complete evidence. That's the secret to his success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. He has to let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. And that someone is Larry. What are you getting at? It's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? That's right, Nick! No ten-minute trial this time. We'll milk this one for all it's worth. Hey, it was fifteen minutes. Fifteen! Oh, everything's on Larry now!